Hey, what's up? It's Manu here. Today I want to show you how you can come up with your own diminished walk-ups and walk-downs. And then I want to show you something that Corey Andrew did. We took this concept and just like flipped it to another level. You know while playing in church or wherever, um, when you want to go to the, the two or the six, um, there's always that question of what options do you have? And when that question pops up, your brain will quickly scan through the tool, your toolbox and give you all your options that you might have. Maybe it will give you your dominant chords, your sharp nine, sharp five chords, etc. And then it will also give you your diminished chord. But the problem comes in when every time that you want that diminished flavor, the only thing you do is just playing that diminished chord. Because your brain will always give you the easiest option that it knows that you understand very well. And um, so the more you play just the diminished chord when you're looking for that, that diminished flavor, um, what do you think will happen like years down the line if the only thing you're playing is that diminished chord? There's a big chance that you'll be playing that diminished chord for years and years to come and then you might fall into the trap where you feel like you're playing the same thing over and over again. So the next time when you're playing church and you find yourself looking for the like an option to go to the two and the six and in the diminished category you realize that the only thing you have is just the diminished chord. Just realize that um, playing that diminished chord will kind of increase your chances of that being the only option that you have in the diminished category and that will increase um, the chances of that being the only thing you'll be able to play years down the line and that might not be what you want or it might, it doesn't really matter it's, but if you don't want that to be um, your only option then you might re need to reconsider just playing the diminished chord every time the good news, however, is that it's not that hard to come up with like endless possibilities of um, diminished walk up and walk downs that you can learn. And I'll be showing you those today. And if you watch until the end, um, I guarantee you that you will be able to come up with advanced diminished walk ups and walk downs of your own. And then I'm also show you something that Corey Andre did that took this concept and just like, took it to all another level. So in order to come up with your own um, diminished walk up and walk downs, there's only three things that you really need to like learn and understand. You need to learn what chords um, you need to use, and then you need to learn the scale that basically increases your options to um, basically unlimited. And then you need to learn how to use the two of those two things together. It's that simple. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you an advanced way that Corey uses that kind of flips this whole thing. So the first thing I want to show you is the chords that you need to learn to be able to play diminished walk-ups and walk-downs. In our case, it's actually quite obvious. You need to learn the diminished chords. So what those are, it's basically just chords made, made up in minor thirds. So this diminished chord, for example, that I just played, from the A flat, you got a minor third, it's your B, you got a minor third, it's your D, you got a minor third, it's your F. So that's the idea to form any diminished chord. So if you want to play this one, you can go B flat, minor third, minor third, minor third, and then you have another diminished chord. So that's how you form your diminished chords but this the one that we specifically want to cover is the um the drop two after diminished chord so what that is the diminished chord is made up of four notes right so what you need to do is you need to take the second highest note in our case it's an e you need to remove it from your right hand and play it in your left hand so you play it a bit lower, you play like an octave lower. And basically that's how you form a drop two. So another example, the A diminished chord, so minor thirds, 
take down the second highest note, in this case it's an E flat, play it in your left hand. And basically that's how you form the diminished chords that we're going to use. And you need to learn something different with your specific diminished chords. You need to learn to be able to play it from top down. So if we say we want a diminished chord that ends with um, the G flat, you need to be able to know that it's this one. Okay, if we say we want one that ends with A flat, you need to know that's the one. Okay, cool. So in order to play um, diminished walk up and walk down, there's a specific scale that you need to learn um, to be able to do that. In our case, we're playing in the key of D flat, and we're going to the, the E flat minor. Okay, so we're gonna need to come up with diminished walk down that ends or allows you to land on the E flat minor. Okay, so what that scale is, it's called the whole half tone diminished scale. And it's quite actually it's actually quite easy to play the scale, um, and it's actually based on the name of the scale, whole half tone. So you play. So we're gonna play the E flat, whole tone, half tone, diminished scale. So from the E flat, which is the key that we're going to, we're going to the E flat minor. So we're gonna use the E flat, whole tone, diminished scale. From that E flat. Play up whole tone, go for half tone, whole, half, whole, half, whole, half. Okay, so with the notes for that is E flat, F, G flat, A flat, A, B, C, D, and the E flat. Those are the notes that you're going to be using. Okay. So now that you understand how to form both the drop two diminished chords and how to play the whole half tone diminished scale, you need to combine the two. So this is where it gets quite interesting. So what you need to do is you need to come up with a melody using the whole tone half tone diminished scale. Okay, so basically you need to use the notes in the scale and come up with the melody and then end on your E flat minor. So we're gonna come up with the melody quick that we can use. Um, okay, we can use this one. So that's G flat, F, D. Back to F, and then we end on the E flat minor. All these notes that I just played, um, they're all in the scale of the whole half tone diminished scale. So that was the first step. You first come up with the melody using the whole tone, or the whole half tone diminished scale, and then you play the chords that goes with that. And the chords that goes with that is the diminished chords that has whatever note that's your melody, they have that note as the highest note in the chord. So what I mean by that is, let's say this is the first note of the melody. You need to play a chord that has this note as its highest chord. In our case, it's this diminished chord. Okay, we're going to play a drop two of that. Okay. The next note in the melody is F, so we need to play the diminished chord that has the F as its size note. Okay, take that note out, left hand, so you play the drop two. And you use that idea to come up with all the chords. So you can do that for this particular one. which is a D, A flat, B, and F. Okay, so those are the four, four, um, four chords. First one. Just 
see how easy it is. Like you can just any melody that you can think of using the scale. So you can be very creative and come up with any melody and then substitute those melodies for the actual um, diminished drop twos. And this will take you far. Trust me, it'll take you far. You can do a lot of that. And but but the thing that I want to show you today, the thing I want to add is what Corey Andrew did that just took this whole concept to another level. And before I show you that, there's something that you kind of need to understand in order to understand what he did. And I just want to show you that quickly. Um, many of you, I'm sure, have heard this um, progression before. It's like that thing. It's, um, it's like a diminished move that you hear uh, a lot of gospel players do. So what that is, you play a drop two of the diminished chord, and then the second note of your diminished chord, I place it's a B flat. You play it up a half step, and the, whatever's in your left hand, you play that up a half step as well. You take these two up half steps, and then make it, make it back to the original. So half steps back to the um, original. So that. So the idea there is quite easy as well. So what Corey did was um, instead of just playing he actually for every melody note that he played he first did that thing I just showed you. See what I mean? He took every chord that we just played that we just um, played and did the half step thing where you go up a half step with the with the second note in the chord and the chord in your left hand, half step, half step down. He did that for every chord um, that he played in this melody that he came up with. Now on to what Corey Andrew did. The melody that he came up with using this um, half whole tone scale was going to the E flat. Do you see how simple it is and how you actually could have come up with something like that using the, the notes in the scale to the E flat. So that's the melody came up with, which is E flat, G flat, A flat, B to the E flat. So that was the first step. Come up with the melody. So we came up with this melody. Second step is diminish chords. Going to the E flat, E flat minor. So that was the second step. First step, melody. Um, Second step, the, get the diminished chords that actually goes with that. And now the third step, which is a bit more advanced, is you do that um, after thing that I showed you that a lot of gospel guys do. So this was the first chord that we came up with. So you do the half step thing where left hand, half step, right hand, second chord, second note in this chord, go up half step, and go back down. Next chord, same thing. Next chord, next chord. Okay, so just to show you that quickly. First chord is C, G flat, A, E flat. Second chord is E flat, A, C, G flat. First chord is F, B, D, A flat. Fourth chord is A flat, D, F, and B. So, the last step that you need to add now is, so what this chord is, is D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat, you drop down half step, okay. Next chord is E, A, D flat, G flat, drop down half step. Next chord is G flat, B, E flat, A flat, drop down half step. Last chord is A, D, G flat, 
B, drop down half step, so that all things slow. that's it guys that's the whole video um, let me know in the comments below if this was easier than what you thought it was or if it was harder than what you thought it was and whether you knew about this whole concept before or whether it's new to you and if you enjoyed the video I have a free video that I think you might enjoy um, I shot this video where I show 10 of my favorite chords and licks that I use all the time and that you can also start using today if you're interested um, click the link below and i'll see you in the next video next week thank you god bless bye bye